What is up my brothers, welcome to another video. This time we're doing a review of the Ultra Heroes, not the Ultra Heroes, the Ultra Action figure of Ultraman Arc, um, base form, Solus armor and Lunar armor. So I did the poll and uh, this one won as of this recording when I saw the poll results. Uh, I don't know if the results have changed but uh, as of right now, yeah. But yeah, there we have the figure in the box looking absolutely gorgeous. You know, you got the armors on both sides. You even got the sword, you got the figure itself. And of course, there's a the lip back of the box. The glare is kind of covering Ark's face there, but there it is. Wow. But anyway, let's uh, crack this figure open. Oh, my reflection's there. Thank God it's not showing my penis because I'm not uh, wearing any clothes right now. And here we have Le Ultraman Ark out of the box looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, yep, yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent figure. It is pretty much what you'd expect from an ultra action figure. Um, yeah, the, the silver paint on the chest, but the gray plastic does bother me a little bit on the arms and the legs there. But yeah, here's the closer look at the left face, and I think it's been, yep, sculpted pretty nicely. Um, looks like him from the hit TV series, Ultimate Trigger. Uh, we've got the blue on the side of the head there. It's a very light blue this time around. Um, I believe the Ultra Hero series one. Right over here was much more of a darker blue, um, yeah. Unfortunately, when you get to the arms, it does look quite sloppy. Um, yeah, it's got the grey plastic and then just a bit of silver paint right there, which looks really out of place. But yeah, the midsection of the arm has been sculpted in the red plastic. Now, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look like it's meant to be there. Um, but yeah, it looks really odd. Yeah, there's the back of the figure. It's got the screw holes right there. Um, yeah, the black's been painted nicely, I guess. But everything else is unpainted, which is to be expected. But anyway, moving on to the accessories. He does come with his sword. I forgot what it was called. But yeah, I'm going to call this the... 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 The Tim. But he got one side painted, but the other side's left blue. He does have the articulated fingers, so he doesn't have any problems uh, wielding the sword. But yeah, skipping over the articulation, because it's, it's literally exactly the same as any other figure in the line. Um, and also, I don't want this video to be too long. So without even looking at the instructions, I'm just going to try and figure this out myself. Um, yep, there's a Solus armor looking like a crab. I've um, got these hand pieces there as well. So I believe all you need to do is uh, you know, lift these up, I guess. These come out, I believe, because these are for the arms, right? And then I believe you just yoink that. Wait, what? It goes this way, right? <laughs> I guess you meant to just pull this off first and then uh, close it over him, like that. Put the collar piece over the top of here, like that. There we go, it just snaps in place. And then we're gonna snap that over the top, hopefully that's in the right direction. And there we go, it's a Solus armor. It's a uh, bit arc, but crab. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, my only issue is I wish the hands were a fist instead of open palm hands. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's nice looking armor, I guess. The paint's pretty nice, I guess. Got some gold detailing there. The the inner part here is a different shade of gold. The rest of the entire armor is orange metallic plastic, but um, yeah, not bad looking. Uh, the shoulder piece is on a ball joint, so you can shift it around a little bit to get out of the way if you want to move his arm up and stuff. Um, these parts here do clip in pretty well, so it's not going to fall out, you know, shake it around, stays in place. The hands also do stay in place fairly well. Um, it's a little bit on the loose side, but I don't think it'll be falling out like the uh, Ultraman Zero's uh, Ice Slug is. But anyway, let's move on to the Lunar Armor, and as you can see, it looks like a crab. Um, but yeah, just gonna try and figure this one out myself again because I can't be bothered reading instructions. But yeah, the armor piece, once again, just gonna take the front off there and then peg that in like so. Is it actually gonna go in? I don't know. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. And then the armor piece just pops off like that, or shield piece, I should say. And just gonna put that in the hand right there. And uh, there we go, he's Captain America. That just pegs into the back like. That just pegs in the back like that, I think. I don't know. It's a big mystery. Gonna get the shield piece again and then just slide on in like that. I think I bumped the camera. I do apologize. Um, I've had a severe lapse in judgment. I don't know. He doesn't seem to be holding the shield too well, but uh, I guess that's how it's done. <laughs> Unless I got that wrong. But yeah, here we have the Lunar Armor, which as of this recording, he has not appeared in... 
he has not appeared in any episode like this. Um, they're releasing the Lunar Armor kind of early just because, you know, it comes with the figure and the Source Armor. Um, the Ultra Hero series doesn't get released till like next month, I believe. So it is a bit weird getting an Ultra Action figure of this form before an Ultra Hero series. It's usually the other way around, right? But yeah, out of all the forms, this might be my favorite. I like the sort of unique design in the armor with the two blades sticking out the back. I know it's kind of cool. And he's got the shield as well, which by the way, he does not hold the shield too well. Like when you slide the shield into his hand like this, it doesn't, uh, it kind of gets in the way of the joint. So you can't close the hand too well unless he has it pointed outwards like that. So yeah, it does have a tendency to just fall out, um, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, that does mean he can just go wah, like Captain America. Wah. Yeah, that's right, I'm four years old. Um, and also this part here doesn't seem to close too well. It pops right out when you move it around a little bit, but uh, yeah, oh well. But yeah, overall it's nice looking armor, I guess. The sculpted detailing is pretty decent. Um, the paint apps is also pretty nice as well at the front there. Uh, the back's unpainted, of course, but it's got all that sculpted detailing in there, so yeah, ain't that swell. But anyway, let's move on to the size comparisons. The Ultra Hero series arc, Le Buzz Mod Shinobu, a copy of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the PS4. Fuck. So overall, um, yeah, it's a nice figure. Um, the figure itself, Ultimate Arc himself, is a very dull figure, I must say. But I don't know, the armor pieces are kind of cool. Um, it is a bit clunky, I will admit, but honestly, I recommend getting this. It's actually kind of cool. But anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Like to scribble if you want to. Bye.